Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eric Tavek Gardens in Georgia, Zone 8. Oh, I used to say Zone 7. <laughs> now, the new agricultural zone for my area is now Zone 8A. It used to be in Zone 7B. But the weather still remains the same. It has not changed. But I am glad that we are officially in spring. Oh, whoa. I've been waiting for months for spring to come, and spring is here. <laughs> Today's video is, um, is about uh, my victory is waking up from dormancy in spring so i'm going to show you guys my fig tree that i kept in the cross space for the first time i have been growing figs since 2017 and this last winter is my first time of keeping my fig trees in cross space because Georgia cold weather has changed. For two winters, back to back, we've had 12 degrees, which was unusual. But now we have that. So now I have to be keeping my fig trees in cross space every fall slash winter. But today, I wanna sh I'm going to show you guys my fig trees that I've woken up from dormancy and how I fertilize my fig trees. Because when your fig trees wake up, you want to give them water if you didn't give them water at all. Because like mine, I didn't give them water for three months and they didn't dry up because my, because my cross space was cold. They're warmer than the temperature outside. And while they were in there, they started bringing out leaves, even with Breba figs. <laughs> you know, so I brought them out. Um, I think the day before it rained, I brought them out knowing that it was going to rain so they can have their first drink of water. And then after that, and now give them soluble fertilizer. So now, let me show you guys what happened when I brought them out. These are my fig trees. I brought them out of the cross space. Now it rained yesterday. Because I knew it was going to rain, I brought them out so that they can receive rain or water because they've been in the cross space since after Thanksgiving, since November. And I didn't water them at all, all through uh, November to March. So they've been in the cross space with no water. I didn't water them because the soil was moist. And in the cross space, it's cold. But look at. Now they came they woke up with breba. Look at that. That is a breba fruit. Breba, 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 breba. Look at loaded with breba figs. Now breba is the first set of figs you get if your fig variety produces two crops. Breba and the main crop. But I love fig 
varieties that produce Briba. I love it because it is buy one, get one free. The Briba is the free. And then the main crop is what you are buying. Most of the main crop tastes better than the Briba. But there are few Briba that taste equally as good as the main crop. But here is another one loaded with Briba fig. Here is another one with few Briba on it. So I'm glad last year I didn't get any Briba because I left uh, last year winter, 2022 into 2023 winter, I left all of my fig trees out and we had 12 degrees cold on Christmas day, I think for three nights through the Christmas and it killed all of my fig trees. Only few came back. More, I had more than 200 figs and only 80 woke up, came back. More than 120 died completely. I still have some of the empty containers. And then these ones here are the ones I planted, I, I rooted last year. These ones here. But look at them doing well. So I'm going to upport the ones in the smaller containers. I'm going to use those empty containers. I will upport them in there. But look at the woke up looking good look at briba okay i can't even see the briba because of the sun but look at a briba on this small tree a briba oh look at this briba here and then look at briba there so i think half or more than half of my fig trees produce Briba. Because I love it. Because that is the first set of figs you eat every year. So that is Bogo. You know? The Bogo sale. Buy one, get one free. This is the free. The Briba. And Briba forms on last year wood. You see? This Briba is growing, this is last year. Then the main crop will grow on this new growth and produce figs on the new growth. But this one is on the last, you see this? Last year wood. That's where the uh, Briba forms. Look at this one, you see? Last year wood. It's where the Briba forms. Wow. So, you can see that I'm going to have some Briba. This year, I'm so happy, so excited. So far, out of all my trees in the cross space, only my Zif, my Zafiro, that is not doing well. Now this part here is still alive. So I don't know if there's going to be a new growth here. But from here, it's dead. You see? That part is dead. So I might have to buy a new Zafiro cutting. Before it is too late. But... I'm so happy with, uh, with my fig trees. They woke up. You can see the colors are not well greened. Well greened because they were in the cross space. But now that I brought them outside, the color will change. Look at those breeders. 
I am so excited. And look at that one there. <laughs> a breeber. Ooh. Look at this one here is loaded with breeber. Look at that. And look at this one. It is loaded with breeber. You see that? Oh boy. <laughs> I cannot wait to start eating fresh figs again. I'm telling you. So this is why I love, look at, you see this? Loaded with breba. This is why I love, this one is what, Fico, Fico Bianco. Look at it, loaded with breba. It's like almost every node, every node has breba there. Fico Bianco. So now that they've received their first water, they've drank their first water. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to give them soluble fertilizer. So I'm going to show you the soluble fertilizer that I use my mixture and show you how I'm going to feed them with soluble fertilizer. Now, this is the plant food I use. Look at the NPK. Let me show you. The NPK is 24 for nitrogen, 8 for phosphorus, 16 for, cal uh, for potassium. So the 25 is for nitrogen that will help the leaves to grow more. And the potassium that is 16 will help the roots. Instant feeding, that is it. So being their first drink, they need more of nitrogen. And uh, it is one tablespoon to one gallon of water. Now I have two gallon of water can. So what I'm going to do here is to take that is for one gallon. two gallons so I'm going to allow water to run in to the can okay and then I'm going to shake it so it can mix with the water, a soluble fertilizer, it melts immediately. So, this is my uh, my rainwater collector. I have two more on the other side. You see, it comes from the top. Drains in here, and then when it's full, then it drains out from this pipe when it is full. Okay, two gallons. All right, so the first drink. See, the good thing is that uh, they've They've received water, 
so I won't need to give them too much that they will leak out and waste. I'll give them enough that they need. I don't want the soluble fertilizer to run out. That would be a waste. At least some of the roots will drink it without it running out. I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to mix some more and then feed all the containers and I will show you guys when I'm done. Okay, so you know in as much as I tried not to give them too much so that I won't lose some of the fertilizer i still lost few but it's better than losing so much fertilizer so what i do is i try to give them at least it will get to halfway and all the roots in that halfway we take in the the fertilizer and that will help them because this is the first fertilizer drink and I'm giving them before I will give them soluble fertilizer I still have to give them slow release fertilizer I'm sorry this is soluble fertilizer but I will have to give them slow release fertilizer or, or chicken manure they sell dried chicken manure in bags now I've used them uh, before but you can even uh, I think I have a video fertilizing fig tree with chicken manure so I'm gonna get some chicken manure and give to them that will be slow release fertilizer so this is how you take care of your fig trees when they wake up for spring. You see, when you take good care of them from the beginning, they will take good care of you in summer. When you start eating figs and enjoying those figs. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so every time I upload new videos, you will be notified. And I will see you guys again in my next video. God bless you real good. Bye.